today's subscription spot, we're having a look at the Dinosaur Dracula subscription box for the month of June. Would you guys like to have some retro goodies from maybe your childhood delivered to your house every single month? <gasps> you can click the link down below and subscribe to the Dinosaur Dracula. Spot just got his box in the mail for the month of June, and we're going to get this opened up and find out together what we got for this month. Let's reach off to the side of the camera here and grab myself a knife. I don't need that much blade. That's about, that's about right. And we're going to cut the tape on the box here. Just like that. I love Dinosaur Dracula because a lot of times when I'm going through the, the boxes of goodies, I recognize a lot of times probably about three quarters of the stuff inside from when I grew up. So I love this box because it's such a blast from the past for me. First things first, I have some, some snacks. I have something that I could snack on while I'm having a look at this box. Uh, is it still good? It looks like August 11th. We're in July, so we're okay. Snack boldly. Well, you know what? While we're when, when in Rome, let's get this opened up. <clears throat> A little potato chip there. Hmm. Oh my God! It's the great. Oh no, I didn't grow up with this. I was going to try to set a, a really elaborate tale about this, but that would be a fib. I'll put that to the side. We have Dino Drax unofficial muscle jacked jar two pack. Includes two genuine muscle figures from the 80s. I feel like I'm unleashing like a spore. No, there's nothing inside. Well, there's muscle figures inside. We've got this guy right here, which I'm going to dub him Brick Hands. And we also got this guy right here, which I'm going to call Diamond Face. I love muscle figures. I really wish I had held on to my muscle figures uh, from back in the day. So kick myself. Muscle figures. Totally need to go back and pick up more of these. That's one of the reasons why I like Dinosaur Dracula so much is that you get these little cool blasts from the past. We're going to put those right there. Don't eat my chips, whatever you do, or it's out. Out you go. Next, we have the Burger King Thundercats Snarf figurine. <gasps> Rides, straws, or pencils. Part of the Burger King promotion from 1985. Four treasures and packs in all. And this might be, my friends, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this might be one of those things I grew up with. <gasps> it is. I don't know why I had to take it out of the wrap to decide that. I actually had this when I was younger. I don't remember if I actually put it on a straw. It might have eventually just gotten lost. I might have just lost it on the way home. I probably cried. I would have been a good, oh, 26, 20. No, I wouldn't have been. I probably would have been about 8. 1985. Well, you know what? Let's do a little bit of math. This is 1985. I would have been 7. There you go. You can date, date me from there. I would have been 7. So I probably would have cried like a little girl. I would have done. I don't know. I I think I just whimpered. I don't think I was a loud baller. Now I'm a money-making baller. I didn't see what I did. No, okay. Nobody believes this box. Next, we have the Blinky Micro Monsters. Contains six Blinky and six stickers from Tops. And I think I've actually had a look at these before. Take my knife very carefully. Let's not get mad crazy going on here. We got a little blinky bag. A little blinky bag right there. And let's open these up. These are, by the way, dated from... Hmm. Still skill testing question. That's not helping me. Doesn't say. I don't know. Let's open these up. These do look familiar. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Got some stickers. A pamphlet. The Blinku games. And here are the Blinkus. Did I call them Blinkies? The Blinkus. Yeah, they're lenticular, I think is that the correct term for it, where the image is like this. It's on like a plastic. And then one side is one image and one other side is the other image. So when you 
when you kind of flip it, it flips the image. A little bit of science. It's not really science. That's marketing. A little blinkoos. See that? See what he's doing? Yum, 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 yum he's making. That's the noise he's making. This one's hollow. I don't know why he's hollow. The other ones are just solid. He's kind of hollow on the side. And I think it was two bags. There was there was two bags. Two bags full. The other bag gives us then some stickers. I think that's actually the same sticker we looked at before. I like this guy. He's cool. He's too cool for school. Always be cool for school. You know the alternative. You could be cool for Burger King. Not not that there's anything wrong with Burger King, but uh, I'm just saying. Working working fast food, you could say to yourself later on in life, geez, you know, I should have been cool enough for school. By the way, look at this. Two pieces. Ah, make a hole. I wonder if that was intentional. I guess it would have been because they packaged it in the same bag. Very cool. Put those to the side. Next, we have Kool-Aid. Great Blue Dini artificial flavor which is dated March 6th, uh, March 7th, 2016, so we're still good. We're still okay. Some Jurassic Park 3 stickers. Speaking of Jurassic Park, still gotta see Jurassic World. I haven't seen it yet. I get so behind on movies. I don't know why. Why do I get so behind on movies? Pteranodon. Brachiosaurus. Caught in the open. Pachycephalosaurus. I, when I say all these, it reminds me of Dino Riders. Remember Dino Riders? Giant Pteranodon. And what do you got here? Dino FX Specs. I don't know what they're... What, what are they supposed to be doing? Maybe there's... No. I don't get it. Maybe this is for something else. No? Okay. Let's put that to the side. We also got ourselves some Thundercats cards. The ill-fated Thundercats. It's a good show. I don't know why they had to cancel it. It's much like everything else. The good shows get canceled. The other shows... Ultimate Spider-Man! Uh, still stay around. I don't know. I don't know why. Apparently kids like watching garbage nowadays. I, 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 pff, pff, that's all I have to say. Pff, you gotta quote me on that. It would probably be P... F F F F T, which would be pfft, a lot less spit too. Why did I? I don't know why I struggled so much to get these cards open. I like that these cards are round. There's Soro character collection. Soro is the one warrior of General Slide's army. He can track enemies with his keen sense of smell. General Slide and his army hide themselves. Uh, in a giant rock that Groon took home to Thundera. This allowed the lizards to sneak inside the Thundercat's impenetrable castle. Snarf. Non-annoying Snarf. I like that. One of the best things they did about the show. Mm, snarf, Snarf, Snarf. Hey, speaking of which, where is my little Snarf? Oh, there he is, right there. Oh, I know! Snarf, Snarf, Snarf. Uh, quite a catch, I'd say, says Coenelius Crewman. Grew. Uh, are you a Cypher Sore Eyes old friend, Claudius? Claudius? There's Lino. This one looks like it's a puzzle piece. Maybe it fits in with a larger picture. And Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats, Ho. Apparently quoted by Lino. Allegedly. I don't know how accurate that is. Next we have Trolls. Trolls apparently had trading cards. The introduction. Card back form two puzzles. I hope somewhere in this we're going to get a package of gum. Really old gum that I can debate whether I should be eating. Then just ultimately just say, eh, what, what the heck. I'm just going to try it and then regret it later. Trolls. There's Penny. Ivan. Some people might be saying, why? Trolls. Was popular back in the day. This one looks familiar. Zeta. What did you say? Uh, Zeta. Uh, it was the night before Christmas. I don't know how well trolls, though, translate to trading cards. 
Booby, Bubby, OB, uh, Sherlock, very interesting. And what do we got here? Norfin Trolls Trading Card Club. You can be a club member. Can't now, it's probably expired. Doesn't say an uh, expiry date though, so wouldn't it be funny if this was still active? I could be an honorary club member, just, just saying. Next we have Garbage Pail Kids Dino Drac Specimen. In 2003, Garbage Pail Kids returned with green gum gross stickers. Being pieces of bazooka-like green gum, each with a rude Garbage Pail Kids sticker wrapped around it. What fun. This isn't just a piece of gum. It's a rare piece of Garbage Pail Kids history. Don't eat it. Ha 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 I don't know. I don't know. Let's open it up. I probably won't eat it. I really shouldn't. Things that... Things can be expired for a certain period of time. Then there's other things that you just say, okay, clearly, I should not be eating this. I should not even put this into my mouth and chew it. Because nothing good will come from it. But inside, we got ourselves a sticker, which says, let me just pull off the sticker here. It's Boney Joni. Boney Joni. I'm going to just smell it. It doesn't smell like gum. It kind of smells like plastic. All right, we'll give it a try. No. <laughs> Not even close. Oh, that's so gross. It basically tastes like it basically tastes like artificial, it's an artificial flavor, but it tastes like partially gum flavored plastic. Mmm, it's delicious. Dino Drac Fun Pack Newsletter. I really shouldn't be eating gum. Don't eat gum, guys. Don't learn the lesson from this guy. Don't be an idiot. A Batman bookmark. Manufactured by One Stop Posters. We also have a Dino Drac sticker included. And finally, oh, that gum is so gross. Dino Drac 2015 card. This little poor, uh, I was going to say hamster, rabbit in the background there uh, can't swim. It's okay. It's just a ball pit, man. It's just a ball pit. You can still drown, I guess, in a ball pit. I shouldn't even make light of that. There you go, guys. A fantastic haul once again for the month of June from the folks over at Dinosaur Dracula. If you guys would like to have a blast from the past, a piece of your childhood delivered every single month, you can click the link down below and subscribe to Dinosaur Dracula. Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at Dinosaur Dracula 2015, the June subscription box. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.